Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. So this time I wanted to do some uh, tests with this monitor playing with my PC. I'm going to use it with my PC on my last video. I tried it with the Xbox One X. If you want to see that, that video, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section. But this time I wanted to try it with my PC. I have an NVIDIA GTX 1060 PC. I also wanted to test the FreeSync because this is a 4K Quantum Dot FreeSync monitor. I want to see if FreeSync works just in case if you're interested in buying that monitor and you have an NVIDIA video card. In my case, I have, uh, what did I say, the GTX 1060? Well, I, I already said that now. Also, I have over here the BenQ. This is the EX3203R. This is a 1440p with HDR and FreeSync 2 monitor. We're going to run some tests if that monitor works with my gtx card so if you're interested in this kind of video welcome to the channel guys i'm joster let's do this all right guys so first let me test this monitor we're gonna run the test if freezing works with my gtx card and first off we're gonna go into ge force experience right and then over here, you have to make sure that you have the latest drivers. So in this case, I have the version 418.81. And this was released uh, on the 4th, which was yesterday. So today is February 1st. Yeah, so this was released yesterday. And yeah, just make sure that you have the latest updates. All right. So after you do this, now we're going to make sure that we go to the NVIDIA control panel. Right. We're going to open this control panel. Oh, another thing, guys. Make sure that you have a display port cable. All right. This only works with a display port cable. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right. So I think I already opened it. Oh yeah, there it is. It's right here. Okay, so right here in the display in the NVIDIA control panel, there's an option that you should get. It says set up G-Sync right here. And now, as you guys notice, I already enable g-sync right here with this monitor and it's enabled for full screen mode okay over here it says selected display is not a validated as g-sync compatible monitor now uh nvidia is has already some monitors that they have already validated that they uh, comply with the uh, g-sync but uh not all of them out there <clears throat> not they haven't tested all of them so this is probably one that they haven't tested i'm not exactly sure but if you have one that they haven't test, just go ahead and do this for this is the reason that I'm doing this. All right. So these are the settings that I'm using right here. Um, and then you just hit apply. I don't have to re hit apply because I'm not changing anything. Right. And then just close this and that's it. Now we can go and test some games. So let's go into my G force experience and go home and check out some of these games. So, um, Let's say that we try, let's try for honor. All right, let's play this one. All right, guys, so here it is. I am playing for honor. Now this right, monitor this doesn't have speakers, but uh, I'm using a, an external speakers right here. Master, why this fortress? Uh, I'll show you my settings in just a little bit. Also, let me make sure if I have freezing on, let me see. They seem like they're good people. Yep. So I have FreeSync Ultimate Engine on. All right. So there it is. FreeSync is on. That is all a lie. Let me turn this off. Let's uh, skip this. I'll show you a little bit my settings that I have. This one. I don't think I'm running this in 4K. Although it looks, it looks very sharp. Oh man, I haven't played this game in such a long time. But down is a part of integrity. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let me show you my settings real quick. So we're going to go into options, graphic, I guess display. So I'm using full screen, 
yeah so the resolution is 2560 by 1600 uh, i know I'm, I'm using this right now because then the frame rate if i use 4k the frame rate will drop to like 20 25 frames per second it looks really bad so i have vsync in adaptive 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 yeah so aspect freezing you know freezing usually what it does it just locks the frames per second it's not unlocked so uh it just keeps it more smooth everything so this is my display and the graphics i have quality test high you know what guys honestly i'm not too <laughs> i'm not very knowledgeable about pc and graphics and all this thing right here but this is what i'm using and let me tell you right now it feels good though the frames per second is 58 57 i mean it's not stable but since i am using i guess since i am using FreeSync, it feels very smooth Oh shit. Kicking butt right now. All right guys, so now we're playing Crisis 3. I don't know if you have played this game before, but it's pretty sick. I like this game. Cloak engaged. Man, I haven't played this game in such a long time. But uh, let me show you my settings once again. We're going to go into options and then uh, I think graphics. Yeah. So this one I'm playing in uh, 1440p, 2560 by 1440 full screen, anti-aliasing, disable, texture, resolution in high, V-Sync, no V-Sync. Okay, so I guess the, uh, the uh, frames per second I'm going to be like unstable, like jumping up and down. Oh, right now it says 138, 35, Jesus. I mean, this is a, uh, this monitor is limited to 60 Hertz because it's a 4K monitor. But, uh, so even though if it says like that, it doesn't mean that it's running like that. So far, so good, man. It feels good. Holy macaroni. Oh, man, I don't even know what to do here. Guess I'm shooting some aliens. Oh! What happened? Oh, shit. My health is critical. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Oh! Oh shit! Oh man! Oh yeah, I'm getting shot by this alien! Oh my god, my health! Anyways guys, if I die, I just wanted to show you how this works and it looks great! Oh my god. Jesus. Alright guys, so now we jump into the world of Call of Duty. World War II. And I'm actually pretty bad in this game right now. For some reason, um, on uh, when you're playing with a remote controller on PC, it sucks. It's really bad. When I'm playing on the Xbox, it's a different story. But right here on PC, it's uh, my god, I, I'm. Oh, I just killed someone. I'm lo so lucky right now. Join a grenade. But let me tell you guys, it it, it it's just it's very smooth. It feels good. That's that's the whole thing that I'm trying. I don't even know how I kill. Oh, this guy was killing us. Son of a gun. All right, whatever. So, uh, let me... How do I change division? Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna change division. But, yeah, guys. What I'm saying is that this is really, really good. I like it. We're gonna test. 
Oh my god, I don't even know how I got killed right now. We're gonna test the other monitor, the BenQ. Hopefully that one works too. Is that, oh man. So that is my favorite monitor. Just this, just one time. Oh my god. Hey, uh, why? Man, I hate this game. I really hate this game. I always look, look at this. I respawned and I'm, I'm already dying. All right, guys. So now I connected my BenQ. This is the BenQ EX3203R. This is a 1440p with FreeSync 2 and HDR monitor. Let me just double check that the freezing is turned on. Let me see. So we're gonna press the menu. I'm gonna go down. Oh shit. There you go. And freezing is at premium right now. Okay. Same with the other monitor. Freezing is at premium. So let's turn this off. Now we're going to go into the display. So NVIDIA control panel. And let's go here. So it says right here, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable. So yeah, enable full screen mode. Everything is enabled. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't think this is going to work, but all right, let's jump into a game. So uh, let's try. Let's try for honor. All right, guys. So the game is starting and I already started to have some issues. I see some uh, blackouts. Uh, let me see if I can. I'll show you right now. Oh, this looks nice. Let's uh, skip this real quick. Jump into the gameplay. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's working fine now. It's very smooth. What? Um, oh, there you go. There's a blackout. There's a blackout. Running at 66 frames per second. I mean, it's, it's unstable right now. Let me show you the uh, the display. So my display right now is at 2560 by 1440. This is a native resolution of this monitor. And the refresh rate is 120 hertz. This can reach up to 144 hertz. So it's a really good monitor. I love this monitor. So V-Sync is adaptive. V-Sync right now, I have this right here. And let me see the graphics. These are, there. they should be the, pretty much the same graphics as I showed you guys earlier today. All right, so I had a blackout already. So far, oh shit. Oh, I got this guy. Well, so far, I mean, I don't know what to say, guys. It, it, it It's playing okay. I did have some blackouts at the beginning of the game. I didn't get a chance to record it, and I have one right now earlier. You guys saw that one. But, uh, man, I hope I don't get any more blackouts. Let me see. Where's this? Oh, where are these guys? There you go. Man, I don't know. I mean, sometimes, like I said, I get some blackouts. Sometimes it just plays very smooth. Let's uh, let's let's try another game, shall we? Let me stop this. Oh, there you go. There's another. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Let me try another game. All right, guys, so I'm right here in Call of Duty, and unfortunately, I've been trying to get the screen to see the menu, and look at this. As soon as I move something on the screen, I just get blackouts. Crazy. So, yeah, this is definitely not uh, compatible. You know, I I'm just letting you know right now. We're getting lucky that I'm, I'm seeing the screen right now, because, to be honest, I wasn't even able to see the screen earlier uh, so these are my settings that I'm using right now. I don't I don't have HDR on uh, The screen is at 59 even though I can still 100 or 120 Hertz uh, And the resolution is at 1440. 
that's native in the taste. So let's go see if we can look at this. I mean, I can't even get into a match. So I'm going to change this to normal. Okay, so I changed to free sync normal. Let's see if that helps. So I'm running this free sync with normal. Okay, maybe this is working. Oh, it should, it it changed to a window. You know what it is? A top is now it's a window screen. It's not like the full screen. So now I'm, I'm I just switch to full screen. Okay. Seems to be running good. Oh, shit. Oh, no. There you go. So, there is a blackout. That is very annoying, guys. Wow. I couldn't kill that guy. I suck. I definitely suck at this game. I'm I'm much better at black black ops blackout, that's for sure. But for some reason in this game I really suck. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, I don't know. It looks it just it doesn't work correctly. This you get blackouts. So that's the problem with uh with this monitor. It's not the monitor, it's just like freezing 2. It's a different uh it's a different kind of adaptive sync, so that it's this monitor does not work correctly with the G-Sync uh, video card. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I'm going to cut it short, even though I have a lot more footage. But on my next video, I'm going to do a side by side comparison between this both of these monitors, the Samsung and the BenQ to see how they look compared to each other, the TN and the VA the color differential and everything. I'm gonna talk about everything. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I didn't wanna make this video so long, it's already long enough, so. And I'm also really tired, it's like 1.30 in the morning right now. So thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.